Hey there guys, got a master lock here, it's a master 101, here's a look at the box, not much to it, here's a look at the key bidding, I hope that focuses in. On the bow of the key it says master on one side and then on the other side it has a code of 3303. Put that up. Here's the lock. This guy right here. Kind of big, got a big hasp. Big shackle, whatever you want to call it. And I'm picking this lock, bottom of the keyway, really uh, wide, circular, so when you stick a tension wrench in there, tension wrench tends to spin around quite easily. And hopefully I'll get this picked open, I've had a lot of difficulty with it doesn't have any security pins in it that I know of. Uh, the keyway, it says on the box, I think. What keyway it is? Uh, maybe not. Yeah, keyway, I think, it, I think it's an M1. It says KAW1 on the box. It doesn't feel like that because it's really, really hard to get your pick in there. And, this doesn't seem like you have enough room and sometimes it wants to go with heavy tension and other times it wants to go with real lightweight tension. But it's got four pens. I think the box says it's got five chambers, but there's only four pens in it. I'll give it a try here. Start off with real light tension here. It's also, since the keyway is so tight, let's sit here and talk. I'm sorry I don't have any background noise for you guys. Hopefully in the next video or so I should get that taken care of. You guys all know how long it took me to get care, take care of the lighting. Plus I got a new uh, hooded sweatshirt on. And new shorts too. Except they're all ripped up. But, uh... Anyway, trying to talk and do this at the same time. The keyway is really, really tight. So that causes problems because if you don't know, is, is what you don't know is if your pick is binding or not on a binding pin, or is your pick just having difficulty getting through the keyway so you get a bunch of different feelings on your pick from side to side top to bottom on the shaft and you don't really know and so it's kind of hard to feel what the pins are doing when you get all this other input from the different sides of the keyway kind of makes it a little confusing it also makes the pins really easy to overset because you're getting so much input in from the keyway and really all you want is uh, feedback from the pins or at least that's all I want
we said another time. This is really easy to overset these pounds. Try to tell you what chamber I'm at, not the first chamber now. Working my way to the second one. Trying to get up under the second one, there it goes. Felt like it's set, checking the first one now. It's not binding, so I'm going to the third. Hopefully the third, sometimes you'll catch the third and fourth chamber on either the head of the pick and then on the shaft of the pick I felt like the third chamber set check the first one it's not really binding yet go back here to the very last chamber try to get it set there was the fourth chamber right there set I hope I didn't overset anything go to the first chamber here Make sure I'm on the first chamber. Hopefully. There it is. Picked open. Well, I'll be honest with you guys. I struggled with this lock. And as you can see, I have two tension wrenches. Um, small thin one. Always wondered what purpose these would serve, but kept them anyway. And just a normal uh, twist flex uh, style tension wrench from Southward and I'm using a Southward pick slimline max and here's another tension wrench that I was using earlier to practice with I think this one came out from a Wizzawazzle and Sparrows lock picks got that from there yeah so yeah, I struggled with this lock because of the the keyway is so tight. When you get all this stuff in here, it's really hard to get your pick in there and get underneath the pin. In fact, several times I thought I was at the back of the keyway. It felt like I hit a wall. I tried to go maneuver my pick down. Couldn't get anywhere, but it is open. Let's see if we can get all this stuff out of here. There's that that there's that there it is open there's what it looks like open this is a master here on the top it's a laminated padlock master on the lock body down towards the bottom over here hang on a sec this is uh this is master lock 101 so this is the 101 and uh got picked open so there it is open um, hate to make a video announcement. I don't like doing that because you tend to jinx yourself. I just put it this way. You guys are probably going to see a lot more master locks coming up. I mean, a lot of them. Probably all of them. Hopefully. But uh, some master locks have been uh, discontinued and they're no longer made. And uh, so I probably won't be able to get my hands on those. But you guys will probably see, I would say, close to 80 or 90% of all the master locks I can get my hands on if I can get my hands on them so here it is picked open as always you guys have a good one thanks for watching